there may be times when you'd like to do something to uh, the data or um, or expand the uh, calculations that come out of Belt Analyst and we've provided you an opportunity to do that to add your own calculations uh, perhaps you want to add a cost module uh, to automatically cost out the uh, components um, and we give you this opportunity by uh, by uh, providing an add-in which is export to Excel file if we click on export to Excel and click on new Excel uh, the program is going to ask us for a name and we'll give it one and uh, and then it's going to open up Excel and populate it with all the input and output data from Belt Analyst and uh, everything that's uh, on a regular printout um, will be will be here in this Excel file there's all the flights uh, all the belt tensions pulleys drives information etc it's all exported to a tab called Belt Analyst Connection. Um, there's also some help here to talk about uh, how to do this. Um, so you can now you can once you've got this uh, set up and saved in uh, in a program name, whatever pro whatever Excel file name you want to call it, you could add your own tabs and uh, link to this data and do additional calculations. Um, to give you a little better example of uh, how this works and uh, and also uh, extend some functions of the program to some other areas that's not built into the program. We've added three um, uh, uh, Excel analyst features. Uh, the first one I'll talk about is transition analyst. So if we click transition analyst, all it does is gives us an opportunity to populate an Excel data file, and we're going to do a, a transition at tail end and evaluate the um, the stresses in the belt in that transition. So we'll hit the new button. It's going to ask us for a file name. I'll just take the default name at this point, overwrite what's there. And you can see there's the belt analyst connection with all the with all the data in it for this particular file. Um, now we we added this other tab down here called input outputs and we've called it our transition analyst so there's our our transition at the tail end of this conveyor at uh, endpoint input transition it's flight location number five uh, that's what we picked uh, from from belt analyst and you can see here's the inputs it's brought over from belt analyst we've added some additional calculations and we've plotted the uh, the uh, belt tensions across the width of the belt um, and you can see here um, belt tension in the edge at 80 percent and then it gets as low as uh, minus 32 percent in this particular example which means our transition is too short 